Aloha, I'm Cynthia Sinclair, and this is my commentary. All Americans have a duty to read the Mueller report. There are many people that are expressing confusion about the Mueller report. We have had many conflicting interpretations about the 400 plus pages of that report. We have heard Trump claim that the report exonerates him. That's not true. We have heard his attorney general say that the report cleared Trump of wrongdoing. That's not true either. Attorney General Barr lied to the American people when he said that Mueller definitely did not consider the DOJ policy, saying you cannot indict a sitting president. Then on Wednesday, Robert Mueller finally spoke in person. That was when we learned that he did indeed consider the DOJ policy, exposing Barr's lie. Mueller went on to say that, in quotes, if we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so, end quote. This is a central statement in his report and in his comments. The report begins with Mueller's findings on Russian interference with our 2016 election. While he did not find sufficient evidence to charge Trump with conspiracy in that regard, his report also notes that many witnesses lied and evidence was destroyed. The report found that there were over 140 contacts between officials from the Trump campaign and Russian operatives. These are important facts that all Americans need to know. So how are we supposed to learn these facts? Read the report. Yes, all 448 pages of it. It is readily available online, and we really have no excuse. It is our sacred duty as American citizens, especially in these times, to learn and understand what has happened to our country. In the words of Robert Mueller, and I quote, and I will close by reiterating the central allegation of our indictments, that there were multiple systematic efforts to interfere in our election and that allegation deserves the attention of every American. Are you listening? Mahalo. I'm Cynthia Sinclair.